Around, I don't know, 2010, 2011, Lucas Souter mm -hmm. and Nathan Smith playing a lot of roller hockey. I believe, I think Lucas's dad owned it at that time. They would have sleepovers at the roller hockey rink, all sports arena. We've never been there. It's not no longer open, but full hockey facility for roller hockey, boards, glass, everything. And so Nate Smith, you know, 10, 12 years old, starts playing roller hockey. They have sleepovers there. They're playing hockey against 18, 20 year olds. And um, just lots of experience. He jumped over to ice. And then as many of you already know, 2016, they win Mitchell, wins a, a national championship with Lucas and, and Nate out there. Nate drafted by the Vancouver Canucks. And then Winnipeg Jets, sorry, Winnipeg Jets. And then he was traded uh, a few years after that, a couple years after that to Arizona Coyotes. And he's seen about 20 games. I think last year he saw about 10 or 12. And the year before the end of the season, he, he saw about 10 or 12. His parents actually graduated high school with my brother <laughs> at Ridgewood. But he, um, I've been communicating a little bit with his, with his mom and got in touch with Nate. And I said, you know, I'd like to name the coach's award for varsity after, uh, after Nathan, if he'd be okay with it. So he got in touch with me and said he'd be honored. I asked him to come and be our guest of honor. He said he's playing hockey, he can't, he can't be here. <laughs> but he's out in Arizona playing for the Roadrunners? Tucson. Tucson Roadrunners. So hopefully we see him get, get called up again. But yeah, yeah, be very proud of that tradition that you guys have, the Mustangs that we have, and uh, the championship, national championships, nothing you know, to scoff at. So um, this, this next award that Coach is gonna get into is called uh, the Nathan, or the Nate Smith Outstanding Player Award. So thanks, Coach. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's it's also uh, you know to mention about Nathan. He had Team USA, you know, yes. Olympic team, not Team USA World Championship team. <laughs> he was Team USA Olympic team, and he scored a goal. Uh, I think he had a couple of, couple of points. So that's uh, tremendous. And I got to watch Nate. Uh, he started his ice hockey at 13 years old at uh, at Oldsmore at TVSA uh, when the Souders in, in that group. Uh, they came with their uh, scorpion jerseys from, oh, from the uh, from the roller rink and uh, moved into TVSA and that's where they, they spent uh, their youth hockey. So I wish TVSA would do something in honor of, of me. You know, like put a banner up or something. You know? Maybe Mitchell can do that. Where's the national championship banner? Yeah. <laughs> Sunny <laughs> face. Yes. We're, on, we're on to something. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we're really excited to give this award. It's presented the player represents an outstanding leadership effort on and off the ice, excellent hockey skills, positive demeanor, uh, really all the things a coach loves uh, to see in their players. Uh, this player's skill was on a different level and uh, he's a great representation for this award. Uh, he did uh, also, like Kane, play in the uh, Lightning High School All-Star uh, game. Uh, and I think you'd be rewarded second star of that game too. Uh, with 45 points, uh, fifth in the league, he distributed the puck and creates opportunities and uh, that often appears where there is none. So he was always looking to make a, an assist versus a goal. Uh, loves the game of hockey, uh, makes it seem easy. I think those are your words, right? Makes it seem too easy. Uh, tremendous upside. We can't see. We can't wait to see what uh, the future holds for uh, number 96, Bodie Bodie.